siblings. Right? Super ambiguous. Coming, coming this, this fall. fall. This is taking longer than expected. Just kidding. We prepare for everything. Everything. I'm insufferable. I'm just some dude that still has his old roommate's password. I'm gonna live forever. We are Binge Pipe! You want more Binge Pipe programming, tough guy? How about... Hi, I'm Sam. I've lived in this quaint New England town my whole life, which maybe isn't that long to you, per se, but to me, it's a lifetime. Maybe when you're coming of age in New England... Hey, Ma! Grab that wicked pizza! And you're a lobster. Yeah, Ma! The one doing a monologue! You gotta be ready to go out on your own. It fit me! The lobster got in my car! See you in hell! It's parked in my car, Ma! The monologuing lobster is parked in my car in Harvard Yard, Ma! I tell you what, though, man, life is different now. Life is different. Especially kids. All you hear now is, can I have screen time? Can I have screen time? My nephew kept asking me that question, and I said, sure. And then I plopped him in front of my screen door. I said, that was my screen time as a kid. I have an irrational fear of change. To enter the game, simply go to the website on your screen using your phone or other device and enter the room code. Or if you're a member of our extrasensory trial program, simply think the room code very hard. Ma'am, excuse me, I'm with the show What's in Your Purse, and I was wondering, what's in your purse? You want to go through my purse? Okay, what is this, a prank show? No, just like a man on the street thing. Are you sure you don't mind? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I'm just a little embarrassed to say I don't know what all is in here. I haven't cleaned things out in a while, so we got a brush and some mints and napkins from a drive through and oh my god. Oh, it's, um, I don't know how. Wow, wow. Is that a dead bird? Yeah, yeah, it is. It, you wouldn't have known this, but I used to be a magician's assistant like, like 15 years ago, and the last trick I assisted on was a bird trick. And that's the bird? One never reappeared. And the Incredible Benjamin said, just wait. Wow, just wow. Do you want us to get rid of that bird? No, I'm good, thanks. Greetings, lovers of wildlife. It's me, Rory Cheshire Fenderbridge, professional narrator. When I released my acclaimed, visually stunning 10 DVD series, Animals of Earth, the response was unanimous. Too much death. Who can forget such moments as lions ripping a baby's zebra to pieces, or killer whales chasing a seal for 10 hours only to have the seal drag itself up on an ice floe to be gutted by a bear. Overall, the series was hailed, equal parts masterpiece of cinematography and downer. And that's why I'm proud to release my new 10 DVD series, Animals of Earth Happy Endings. With clever editing and visual effects, this time every animal walks away a winner. Let's take a look. Here we have a cheetah sneaking up on a tiny rabbit, cooling itself by the local watering hole. The cheetah prepares to pounce, and then we cut away to this delightful waterfall with the caption, the cheetah proceeded to walk the rabbit home. Here's one more. This baby puffin has wandered away from its mother and towards a pit full of boa constrictors. I should add, the puffin is quite lost. As you can see, the boas have recognized the fluffy intruder. The puffin cries out for its mother, and a shower of colorful red balloons fills the entire screen, obscuring what we can only assume is an impromptu party. Whoops, there's a chunk of bloody beak. Back to the editing bay with that one. If you'd love a highly edited version of nature where nothing bad ever happens, try Animals of Earth Happy Endings today. Come Coming soon, natural disasters in reverse, or the hungry, hungry volcano that gobbled up all the lava. Cheers. Damn it, this tea's gone cold. A 
It sure is taking a long time to start this game. But Binge Pipe has time. We have all the time in the world. Ugh. What's the matter, Mark? I'm trying to find my blood type, but these medical forms are just so complicated. Oh, Mark, you silly idiot. You don't have to understand forms anymore. I don't? No! Just send all your information to Binge Pipe and they'll find the answers for you. They can do that? Sure. Thanks to Binge Pipe's customer vault, I can send them my medical history, credit card details, voting record, deepest fears, food allergies, romantic preferences, and lucky numbers, and they'll sort through it to find the data I need and keep the leftover details for themselves. Wow, that sounds great. Looks like I won't need this paperwork. And with the extra time, we can get dinner. Do you like burritos? I don't know. I'll have to ask Binge Pipe. Going outdoors has become obsolete thanks to these Binge Pipe programs. You've heard of a tables, ladders, and chairs match, but this week on Wrestling Is Everywhere, we are taking the competition to a new level by having it in the middle of a fully operational high-end furniture and home decor store. I'm gonna rip you apart, sectional by sectional, armoire to footstool because you are a sham and matching duvet set. You're going to seasonal table runner for your life until you throw in your tea towel. You're about to hit the grounds, cause here comes the French press. Hi, I'm looking for wall sconces. No, no, no. <laughs> this week on Wrestling Is Everywhere. Hey man, you succulent. I tell you though, kids are a lot different these days. Just this morning, I was on the bus and I heard a young person talking about how they were having trouble building a deck. So naturally, I chimed in with some carpenter advice, but it turns out they were talking about making a dang PowerPoint presentation. I mean, does the world lost its gosh darn mind? I romanticize the past, even though I shouldn't. All of our binge pipe testimonials come from real people, not actors. Actors are not real people. Hi, I'm Austin Creed and I've got a brand new show on binge pipe called Hat Chat. Each episode, I travel to a different, exotic spot in this great big world of ours, meeting amazing people, and we just talk hats. Take a listen. So this is uh, St. Remix Cathedral. It's more than 400 years old, making it the oldest still-standing cathedral in the area. Wow! And what kind of hat is that? Oh, this? Oh, this is just my Milwaukee Brewers hat. I'm a big fan. So, a baseball hat, then? Yep. Amazing. That's Hat Chat only on Binge Pipe. Deep in the American South, there was a town with a secret. Excuse me, can we ask you about the body found in Walter Creek? No, I, I don't know what you're talking about. A secret nobody wanted to talk about. There is no body in the creek. There's never been a body in the creek. That's when a film crew discovered. Lies, it's all lies. We were in the wrong town. We don't even have a creek. Coming this winter to Binge Pipe, true crime documentary bloopers. When we went down into the basement, we found the shrine that he had made out of human bones. I, I mean bones. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> While we wait for players to join, why not pour yourself your favorite drink and hold it in front of the screen so that we can see if our targeted advertising is working. As a mom, I used to stay up nights worried about what my kids were watching on TV. But then I got Binge Pipe. With hours and hours of quality movies, TV programs, and game shows, I haven't had time to worry about my kids at all. Whoa! A movie about a horse that's also a doctor? <laughs> Looks like I'm missing another dance recital. 
Binge Pipe not only streams the highest quality programming other services passed on, but we also create original content based around our users' most frequent search terms. Please enjoy the following. 13 men and women, all living in one house, where they're forced to watch season five of The Bachelor, but while wearing headphones, so we don't have to get the rights to that show. I can't believe Jake tried to- I haven't gotten that far yet. Oh, sorry. Can you pass the chips? The Bachelor season five, watching house season two, only on Binge Bite. Binge Pipe is pleased to bring back You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, woke programming, straight up evil business practices. Hello, my name is Cookie, and uh, it's been about four years since I've posted a trivia game. Hi, Cookie. Well, smells like everyone is here. Okay, here's looking at you. Time for question one. Let's start with, I'm pooped. Whose life can best be summed up as eat shit and die? Canis lupus, alligator mississippiensis, ursus maritimus, or scarabeus satcher? So what'd you pick? Scarabeus satcher is the scientific name of the dung beetle. My Aunt Carol lived by the same philosophy. At least that's what she used to yell at people while she was driving. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Feast your eyes upon this. Barrier necessities. Suppose Mexico.com put up a paywall. What should the pop-up message say? To view all seven states, please subscribe. To view all 15 states, please subscribe. To view all 31 states, please subscribe. Or to view all 40 states, please subscribe. Okay, what'd you pick? Should have just given a fake email address. Mexico has 31 states. But American spring breakers only know about the state of inebriation. Why don't we do it with free? It's time for All God CGI Creatures. And it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's an animal mentioned in the King James Bible, or a CGI animal played by Andy Serkis. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between the Bible or Andy Serkis. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Ready? Let's go. Chimp. The majority of you are just average, but you guys, you just plain sucked at that dis or dat. Binge Pipe has detected a suboptimal player experience. Looks like it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Using the screw makes it harder for all the other players to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Yeah, okay, they get it. Perks you can only get through Binge Pipe. I don't need you anymore. Oh, here's a good one. Guy walks into a bar. 
A guy walks into a bar carrying a Molotov cocktail and a loon. The bartender screams to the customers, Duck! The guy says, Common mistake, it's a goose. Well, well. <laughs> Player one decided to screw. Luckily, this question's even better backwards. Okay, let's take a look. Ow. Uh, yep, uh, a loon is, is just a loon. Unless she went to med school, then she's also a doctor. That screw is a good move, player one. This is your cash now. Coming up next, throwing shade. What emoji would I use if I were throwing nightshade at all my haters on the internet? Avocado emoji, peanut emoji, peach emoji, or eggplant? Oh, look out. <laughs> Player three just let loose a screw. Binge Pipe doesn't like it when I shout at you, but they're fine with this. Hope you like what you picked. Eggplant is a member of the nightshade family of vegetables. Whoa. Eggplants are not poisonous, unlike some other nightshades or my fragile emotions. That's the end of round one. Let's see who deserves my love. These players are currently tied for the lead. Player four, on the other hand, you're doing the bad thing. Your performance has triggered the need for another screw. Round two screws are more powerful, and they'll net you more cash for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be shy about using that thing. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled, in case you care about things like that. This is a real party now. Six trombones is not a parade. How about this one? Time of death. Which of these points on the calendar is named after a man who was assassinated? January, October, July, or May? Let's see how that shook out. Uh, the Roman god Janus is still alive as far as I know. The month of July is named after Julius Caesar, who met his end through numerous backstabbers. Caesar is why I don't trust any of my co-workers, just my cats. Et tu, kitty? Et tu, mayonnaise? Mes collègues sont des crétins. Sept. Behold. Type equals squiggly bracket history comma female squiggly bracket. Except all cookies don't clear your cash. It's time for data mining. Hey, so uh, Binge Pipe has some user data they, they say they acquired legally. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Can you help us figure out the identity of the user based on the song playlist they were creating? Say la vie. Faith. Girl on the fire. Whose playlist have we acquired? Marie Curie. Jeanne d'Arc. Edith Piaf. Or... Look sharp. <laughs> Player four just screwed the room. This question just got some added security. And how do we do? Jeanne d'Arc or Joan of Arc, was French, tried for her faith, and burned at the stake. Man, that's some really old data. We prefer to call it retro. That screw is a good move, player four. Enjoy your cash. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. I call this one Tiny Handkerchief. And hey, stress cut with Mimesore. 
It's time for a Libramist Miss Nun. Get those typing fingers ready because the longer you take, the less money you make. Okay, focus up. Look at this gibberish phrase and tell me what famous movie quote it rhymes with. Hey, a horse flea tissue. And pay no attention to that punctuation. Which side are you on? The dark or the light? These space fights are intense. Let's take a look. Player three? I don't know what this is, but it's not the right answer. Any other bright ideas? I can't stand the suspense. What is it? Let's get on with it, shall we? Na, 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 na. Try this on for size. Down under and around again. If you've heard Iggy Azalea's song, Fancy, you already know she's in the fast lane from L.A. to Tokyo. This road would be what percentage of the world's circumference? 11%, 22%, 33%, or 44%? Who picked what? This is almost half the circumference, but completely wrong. <laughs> the fastest distance between LA and Tokyo would be around 5,478 miles, which is about 22% of the Earth's 24,901 mile circumference. Sadly, the fanciest thing about me is the feast I provide my cats. <laughs> There is no hiding from... When I mentioned the anaconda, it was not a euphemism. How long was the longest snake ever discovered? Three Nicki Minajes, four and a half Nicki Minajes, half a dozen Nicki Minajes, or six Nicki Minajes, and two Sir mix -a -Lots. Got it. Hopefully your score is a grower, not a shower. <laughs> Nicki Minaj is 5'2 and Sir Mix-a-Lot is 5'11. Six of the former and two of the latter would be just under 43 feet, the length of the largest snake fossil ever discovered. This titan boa grew larger than the anaconda because it was less picky. It would gladly accept some whether you had buns or not. <laughs> It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. You will definitely eat me. You are what you eat. Every little part. Good luck.
Player 5 wins! Way to go, Player 5. You won with an incredibly small lead. Like, if we did one more question, the whole game could flip. Hey, should we do it? Who wants to play one more question? No, I'm totally kidding. I just want you to know. You don't know Jack! Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. Funny story, for that uh, Iggy Azalea question, I still have no idea who that is. The directing and writing team tried to explain it to me for like an hour. It, it, it was like they were speaking gibberish. Anyway, eventually I just read the question phonetically and I think it turned out pretty good. Yeah, it's, look, it's just one of the tricks of the trade. Thank you for joining us for this Binge Pipe bonus content. It's me, old man, and I watch the memes now. So it's this time they say this is a new meme that's never been seen before. So here we go, start her up back there. Ooh, it's a kitty cat, and it's playing a piano. Oh, it's good. It must practice many hours a day. It's a catchy song. That's very good, kitty. The kitty's wearing a blue smock. It might be a doctor. I don't know. Maybe that's what the piano's just a side gig. But it's playing, and oh, it stopped now. And it's holding its paws over the keyboard, just hovering above, and it's done. The kitty's done playing. It's got to go. Make a house call, I guess. I don't know. So there you go, Piano Kitty. New meme for everyone to enjoy. See you next time with the memes. Old man's memes. I like being able to stream movies day or night, and I don't mind a lot of buffering during peak hours. I'm a Spencer. Yeah, that's my name. I think I'm a ghost. We are Binge Pipe! Hey, this is the Ritter family. We're unable to answer the phone right now, so leave your message after the beep and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Also, it's come to our attention that someone has been taking our outgoing voicemail messages and putting them online for other people to listen to. I don't really understand it, but apparently they've gotten quite a following. Who would want to listen to that? My neighbor told me there was a think piece about it in the New Yorker. Anyway, please don't do that. We're just a normal family that values our privacy. Thank you. Oh, also, our daughter Linda called off her engagement to Brad Corey. Apparently they had a big fight. If I get more details, I'll try to add them to our next outgoing voicemail message. Anyway, here's the beep. Truffles and tea cakes, teacles and truff truffs, they are equivalent treats. If you asked me to choose, I'd say, oh, that's a muse, because they are precisely equal to me. Sorry, what was the question? made a lot of money in my life, and I've made it all in the last 24 hours. I can show you how. Mmm, I love the relish that is coming through in this buttercream frosting, but I'm not tasting enough hot dog in the cupcake itself. And the final rose goes to... Wait, does everyone already have a rose? Sarah brought one from home. Sarah with an H or Sarah with no H? Sarah with three H's. Can I get everyone's rose back, please? 
By studying the flight patterns and the feeding habits of the swans, I can just barely justify my degree. Binge Pipe offers a new service where we explain to your mom what happened in the part of the show she was watching after she fell asleep. So who is he? Her son. Oh, wait, what now? What do you remember? I remember a party for the one guy. That's her son. Is he the handsome one? Yes. With the beard? No, wait, no. I'm confused. Binge Pipe, we're patient. Welcome back to Right or Wag, the only game show where the contestants are dogs. For $500, who is a good boy? Bixby. Correct. Okay, once again, that bell is making our contestants think someone's at the door, so we'll take a short break. All right, down, down. Hey, kids, do you think reading is fun? Yeah! Great! Then help me read this alimony letter from my ex-wife. This week on Captain Fun Time's World of Hard Adult Lessons. D is for Dabra, and I wasn't good enough for her. What is Bitcoin? A modern system for an ever-changing world an unprecedented level of sophistication. A road you follow, just to see where it goes. It's an indulgent gift you give yourself, and then return. It's a letter from an old friend, a knock on the door late at night. Who could survive all this rain? It's a song you hum to yourself while the bank teller fills the bag. It's a deer, sleek and innocent, and made of lightning. That letter from the old friend. This isn't their handwriting, it's hieroglyphics. The letter bursts into flame and you faint. You wake up in a rainy alley in London and hear a voice whisper, the songbird is deadlier than the jackal in the right climate. You look behind you, but there's only an old woman embroidering. You run and run and barely make it on the last train out of the city. You arrive at a ship and sneak aboard. You sleep on coils of rope. The captain discovers you and says, we're taking you to meet someone you wronged many years ago. But when the ship docks, you're left standing in front of your own door. This is Bitcoin. Also, the lightning deer is wearing sunglasses. Okay, welcome back to Talkin' Mystery Mountain. I'm joined, as always, by my panel. Guys, wow, how about that episode? After facing some criticism that the show has lost its way and that the writers created too big of a puzzle to solve, they respond in a big way. Just when you think this show is beyond repair, we're rewarded with that bombshell. I'm still in shock that Michael is a shape-shifting alien who can time travel. Yeah, that really tied up a lot of the loose ends in a totally organic way. Looking at social media, the episode is getting a lot of positive feedback, but there are some detractors out there. Staceface17 says, This is how they kill off Jennifer? Are you kidding me? Hashtag lame plot device. Before we jump into this comment, I believe we have the clip she's referring to. Roll it. I know Michael is a shape-shifting alien who can time travel, but that still doesn't explain how I ended up on this mountain. We've had zero contact, so I want to know, how did I get here? I have to agree a little bit with her. I did think that lightning bolt scene was a little odd. Especially since it happened deep inside a cave. Okay, did they maybe kill off too many characters in a sudden lightning bolt? Sure, but I think we're losing the point here.
Get ready for a block of classic You Don't Know Jack commercials from previous games. I'm Schmitty, your guide to the past here on You Don't Know Jack Oldies Radio. Do you remember where you were when you first heard these classic commercials? I do. I was at work. Let's spin a few. Does your car need a tune-up, an oil change, new brake pads? Do you like chimps? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then drive on over to see Tim Simeon, Chimp Mechanic. Yeah, I was due for an oil change, so I thought I'd give Tim Simeon, Chimp Mechanic, a shot. He opened the hood of my car, drank the can of oil, and then shit on my engine. Best 20 bucks I ever spent. My engine was making a strange grinding sound, so I took it to Tim Simeon, Chimp Mechanic. Tim rode this tiny tricycle around the garage, and whenever I pointed my finger at him like a gun, he would grab his chest and collapse to the ground like he just got shot. <laughs> So next time you have car trouble, come on down to Tim Simeon Chimp Mechanic, where there's a lot of monkey business and an actual monkey business. Tim Simeon Chimp Mechanic. Come on down to Buster's Bait Shop, where your grub and crawlers, one-stop bumpers, hooks and poles, and nets in line. If your son or pappy is wishing to do some bass or crappy fishing, come to Buster's and have a real good time. Buster's Bait Shop. Master baiters since 1923. I used to hate going to my son's hockey games. I got so anxious, and a friend told me to ask my doctor about side effects. If you have problems with anxiety, ask your doctor about side effects. Side effects is not for everyone. If you have a liver, kidney, or heart, you may experience internal bleeding. You should not use Cytofexa if you have artificial limbs, artificial hair, or have ever used a butter substitute. Cytofexa may induce or aggravate color blindness, narcolepsy, UTIs, headaches, sleeping sickness, rickets, and the runs. Do not mix Cytofexa with alcohol or generic cola, no joke. Cytofexa should not be used by children under 4 or between 7 and 10. It is habit-forming and can cause you to go all drugstore cowboy. Do not sleep for five days before taking Cytofexa. For more information, ask your pharmacist, unless your pharmacist is currently taking Cytofexa. I'm at my son's games and feeling great. Thanks, Cytofexa. Not to be used in the presence of ice. This is Schmitty, and you've been listening to You Don't Know Jack Oldies Radio. You Don't Know Jack Oldies Radio. Simply place the glazed donut in between the two chocolate frosted donuts because nothing says f off, Rick, like my signature donut sandwich. According to the last census, I'm the fastest gun in the West. Wait, oh my god, this Chinese takeout place, this isn't a normal restaurant. Look at the roof. It used to be a pizza hut. It used to be a pizza hut. Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing video. Let's check out what we have today. And it looks like, uh, oh no. Oh, it's bees again, bees again, bees again! I had a great time on our date tonight. You want to come inside and watch something? I know what that means. I've got Binge Pipe. The only streaming service better than casual sex? The very same. Truffles and tea cakes. Tea cakes and truffles. I love them exactly the same. If you asked me to pick, I'd say that's a trick because I love them exactly the same. Oh! Coming soon, The Minister, a period drama about the turn-of-the-century British Prime Minister David Lloyd George. That's it. I must create the Parliament Act to circumvent the House of Lords' objection to my social insurance budget plans. Don't worry, like all period dramas, we've added a lot of sex. When you say circumvent, do you mean go in from behind? Why, Margaret Dreyer Robbins, if you were the president of the Women's Trade Union League, I'd say you were flirting with me. You know what they say. 
what happens at the Paris Peace Conference will create complicated precedent, which will inadvertently lead to World War II. Oh, God. Use me like protective legislation. Do just cleaning out my fingernails. Badu. Introducing America's Secret Singers. Sandwich. I got a pastrami sandwich. Da, ba, da, ba. A singing competition show composed entirely of videos of people who didn't know their webcams were on. Where's the stamps? But um bum bum a bills are overdue. The singer with the most online votes will receive ten thousand dollars and they'll never know why. My arms are so hairy. My arms are so hairy. My arms are so hairy, but my legs are smooth. Sir, sure, we're just an island of talking horses. But can't we treat our island with respect? What? Were you all raised in a barn? <laughs> you were? All of you? Pipe knows what you want to watch even when you can't articulate it. What do I like to watch? Um, thumb. Smack water jack. Plumps darts in a jar? Petu petunias and corn. I, I, I don't know. Why am I having so much trouble? Drugged. We've been drugged. Binge pipe. Ah! The walls! They're bleeding! Oh my god! The microwave screen just told me the time and date of my death! You know, Coop, um, I thought my wall thing was pretty scary. You didn't have to one-up me. Now streaming, an original horror film about a couple who moves into a haunted house way too early in their relationship. We should leave. Unless you don't want to. No, um, we'll, we'll do whatever you want to do. Well, I, I want you to make a decision. Whoa. Hold on. I picked dinner last night. Their lack of communication is downright scary. I need to get out of here. I'm going to my book club. I'll go with you. Leave. <gasps> Leave room for your own interests. But Alice's friends love me. Maybe we should hear the ghost out. He's always on your side. There's no sides here. Available on Valentine's Day. So we did some digging and Kara the guy you've been talking to online isn't who he says he is. Oh no, did I get catfished? Well, in this case, it was more than one person doing it, so we call it getting groupered. It was a whole group? And they did it on porpoise. That one's not a fish. Looks like someone went to school. I'm done here. Thank you. You know, people ask me all the time, what is the first step to becoming an entrepreneur? And my answer is simple. Start following 90,000 people on Twitter. <gasps> oh God, no. No, no, I'm changing. Something's happening to all the boys at Rosedale High. Yeah, it's puberty. I thought this would have happened sooner. <laughs> Versus more bears. We hired too many bears and not enough other types of animals. He's a cop that doesn't play by the rules. She's also a cop that doesn't play by the rules. You know, they might not be cops.
This is You Don't Know Jack Oldies Radio, and I'm your host, Schmitty. Get ready for your favorite You Don't Know Jack commercials from yesteryear. Put on your sunglasses because the past is so bright, you got to wear shades to get that reference. All right, let's listen. Hey, kid, do you like cupcakes? Yeah! And you like carp, right? Ugh, not really. Then pop open a pack of new grossest carp cakes. Moist, chocolatey cupcakes filled with a creamy whipped carp center. Try one! No thanks. Go on, they're delicious! Well, okay. Whoa, tastes like carp! Chocolatey carp! Watch out for the bones! Now go tell your mom that she can find carp cakes at the grocer's seafood counter. Hey, mom! Fish isn't just for dinner anymore, it's for dessert. Also look for chub cakes, cod cakes, and the all-new cup hake. Grossness carp cakes. The cake from the lake. When I first heard about MatchYourSock.com, I thought, there's no way, no way they can match my sock. But they, they made me a believer. They, they really did. I put these socks together, and it was like static electricity. I mean, the chemistry was instantly there. People can't believe it when I show my socks now. They think they're seen double. MatchYourSock.com is the number one match site for single socks. We use 47 proven points of sock compatibility in areas like color, length, elasticity, and odor to make sure you find the perfect match for your sock every time. MatchYourSock.com works. It works. It just works. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for MatchYourSock.com and start your free three-week trial today. We guarantee it'll be the perfect fit. Your temper is just like your mother. My temp. What? My. Oh. How do you know? I... My... You don't know anything about my mother. No, I didn't. Did no. you know? I. Well. What are you trying to say? Okay. I knew your mother. What? I... How did you know my mother? I knew your mother. What are you saying? In France. I don't know. I had too much to drink. And... What are you trying? No, I loved her for many hours, L uh... and she. Had you old out man. of a wedlock Old man, time. are you trying to I, tell me that... Schmitty! You're trying to tell me that you are my... My... Say it! Daddy? Thanks for joining me for another cruise down memory lane on You Don't Know Jack Oldies Radio. This is Schmitty saying, see you last time. <laughs> uh. You Don't Know Jack Oldies Radio. <laughs> Special Agent Benson is used to working under pressure. Two minutes and counting, Benson. Piece of cake. Let's rock and roll. But he's about to face his greatest challenge. No, I was afraid of that. What's wrong? Autofill is using my old address. Looks like I'll have to enter this manually. Find out what happens when the world's best agent tries to order concert tickets. Is the stop sign technically in the square? Ten seconds. It looks Nine, like there's a sliver of the sign in this. Seven. It's too hard to six, tell. Five. Four, that square's gotta count, three, right? Right? Two, one. Gulp. Ryan Hannigan stars in The Checkout, streaming now exclusively on Binge Pipe. I've had enough of your excuses. You're the reason we keep losing. If you love high drama shows like Survivor and Big Brother, Susan's drunk again. That's it. House meeting right now. You'll just love. I don't like these people. I'm just trying to win. My Family Movies. I'm sorry, Chris. You contribute the least. You have to leave the house. <laughs> no excuses. You lost the vote. This isn't really a show. I just have to share it with someone. Have questions? Call our Binge Pipe customer support party line. Hi, I'm locked out of my account. Uh, is that the same bald man who was in the other scene? Hi, I fast forwarded it too far. Can someone tell me how to rewind? Anybody near Dallas, like, want to make out? I'm sorry, is there a Binge Pipe representative in here? Representative. 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 You'll figure it out. 
together. But is it the same? Oh, okay, it's a different bald guy. Thank you. Hey kids, do you believe in a world of make-believe? Yeah! Then you too are susceptible to identity theft. This week on Captain Fun Time's World of Hard Adult Lessons. Who wants to count my credit score? It won't take long. I'm Blake. And I'm Chad. And we're the Internet Brothers. Watch us pull some sick stunts. <laughs> I went to a grocery store, dressed like a dinosaur. And figure out how to monetize our growing Instagram following. What are the tax implications? That's Blake and Chad. The, the Internet, Internet Brothers. Brothers. We bought a dinosaur costume. Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. Hi there, I'm Sally Burrows, the casting director for You Don't Know Jack. I was the one who found Cookie Masterson giving Swamp Boat ghost tours on the Hudson. Of course, host is the only part we have to cast, so now my job consists of watching Cookie for signs of weakness, so I can bring in a waiter at a pirate-themed restaurant I've had my eye on. How are you doing today, Cookie? Great, thanks. Soon, Buck O'Nair. Soon. Thank you for joining us for this Binge Pipe bonus content. I'm a millennial. I'm really into movies where people eat takeout food. I don't even care what the movie's about. I just feel good when I watch those scenes. We are Binge Pipe! Hi, I'm Austin Creed, host of the new Binge Pipe show, Hat Chat. I travel the world, make friends, and see a whole lot of hats. Here's a sneak peek of episode four. I spent my whole life thinking I was an only child, you know? And then to find out I had three identical sisters out there, I just... <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just all very emotional. I understand. What about your hat? Oh, this? It's just a large comical fruit hat. I always wear it. You're one amazing lady. That's Hat Chat, only on Binge Pipe. Imagine a world. My God, the specimen. It's growing out of control. Where scientists go too far. Should we go in? No, seal the door. But still know how to follow proper protocol. Okay, the chemical shower killed it. <sighs> that could have been bad. Yeah, but it wasn't. Lunch? Objection. Your Honor, this witness is clearly just a tugboat in a trench coat. I know you're disappointed, Toby, but just because we found out Grandpa is evil doesn't mean the whole summer has to be ruined. Okay, class, start pedaling faster. We're going up a hill now. Really push it. We're going up. Um, watch out! Oh god, somebody just opened their car door and we just got doored! Okay, throw yourself off the bike. Good, good! Now, now call an ambulance! Bike shop! So your kid's bike got ran over by a car. We fixed the frame, replaced the tires, and gave it a new paint job. But how's my son? We left him under the car, cause he's not a bike. Bike shop! <laughs> You don't know 
there. This is your old friend Schmitty, host of Binge Pipe's new You Don't Know Jack Oldies Radio. I'll be playing your favorite You Don't Know Jack commercials from the 90s, 2000s, and the early 10s. So buckle up, because I'm firing up the Wayjack machine. Oh, God, I hate my life. Liquor. Don't drink that. Why? Mine. Oh. This message brought to you by the United States Department of Condescending Paternalism. Hey, what? Does filler music on TV confuse you? Don't you wish it had words? Well, hurry right now and buy Gino Miller sings classic segues and filler music of television. Oh, it's a man in a suit coat, a woman who's smiling, they're sitting behind a desk. The sweet, sweet sounds of lyrical genius Gino Miller taking television's finest uninteresting filler music and inventing beautiful words. Nobody sings them like Gino. He can be tough like TV. Here I Car. Spooky, like TV. Don't go in there, you'll die. Informative, like TV. News. And hundreds more things. They didn't have words, and now they have words. And they're better now, with words, see? TV will never be the same again after you've heard Gino Miller sing the classic segues and filler music of television. What's gonna happen next? TV. Not available in any store. Just, uh, don't even try. How did you know my mother? I knew your mother. What are you saying? In France, when I was watching the bullfights. In France? With Hemingway, and what? we were there, and I don't know, I had too much to drink, and, well, you know, the moon. <laughs> uh, hold on. I'll catch it. I can't. And... <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. That's it for this session of You Don't Know Jack Oldies Radio. I'm Schmitty, and I'll always be with you in your memories. My God, that's a terrifying thought. You Don't Know Jack Oldies Radio. <laughs> Most coaches want their players to succeed. Not Coach Jones. He's a massive dick. Mark, I've never loved someone as much as you. The control group wasn't even close. Ah, gluten! Bears versus ducks. It pretty much plays out how you'd expect. binge pipe there was nothing for me now i see everything and it's too much i i know too much why are there so many binge pipe Shh. ring 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 hi it's me evan jacover you might remember me from evan jacover best friend for hire well as it turns out there's not a lot of money in the friendship business so that's why i've decided to rebrand myself Today, I'm proud to introduce my new business venture, Evan Jacover, bad boy for hire. Does your classroom need someone in the back of the room to scoff at the teacher while resting their legs on a desk and wearing sunglasses? Is your party missing a mysterious and stoic stranger smoking in the corner? I might cough up a storm, but I'm up for the task. Does your small town need a lovable renegade who vandalizes the sheriff's office with washable paint? I can do all these things because I'm one bad boy. Ow! I'll wear a leather jacket that's a little too big on me. I'll ride one of those motorcycles that has two wheels in the front. I'll pull out a switchblade. <gasps> that's really a comb. Oh. I'll do all these things because I'm the baddest of boys. <laughs> Are you a woman who doesn't yet realize how strong and independent you are, so you think you need to be with a troubled soul? Well then call me, Evan Jacover, bad boy for hire. Ooh, I 
hope I don't really have to smoke. Coming soon, a new blockbuster film by Binge Pod. We've got four hours before the time portal closes. Then there's just enough time to solve the riddle. A completely original film. We made this. The dinosaurs are loose. And they can fly. It certainly wasn't made for cinematic release. Tested poorly. And now they're looking for somewhere to dump it. The lava, it's, it's intelligent. Maybe I can help. King George III. This is something we wanted to do. Then let me say it, in rap. Drop the beat, King George. Coming soon, obligation. Our family has been in the business of trees for what seems like forever. My father had a pass down from his father as many generations as there are, well, <laughs> rings on this here tree. Now it's up to me, the first woman in our family, to take on the responsibility of overseeing the business and appeasing the bloodthirsty and vengeful tree gods with the unreasonable sacrifices they demand and to promise to never talk about the bodies. All while raising a family in these here woods. After 50 days at sea. I need food. I need water. But most of all, I need... Can you literally stop talking about your needs for one second and ask me about my day? Okay, how was your day? I'm starving. I need food. I need water. But most of all... Okay, can you literally stop talking about your needs for one second? Oh my god, come on. I need starving. I need food. Shipwrecked. Can you literally... Binge Pipe provides the quality content my friends and family needs for entertainment. But what about my physical nourishment? Sounds like you need to try Binge Pipe Carrots. Come again? Binge Pipe Farms create human consumables using the latest data technology. Instead of water and sunlight, the crops are fed your personal information to create produce that's produced specifically for their target audience. Wow, it tastes like nostalgia and self-importance. That's the personalized touch and the glyphosate. I don't know what could be better than these bench pipe vegetables. They also make cake. <laughs> oh, let's eat that instead. Streaming now on an all new Lion Punch. I am the Lion Punch. A troubling revelation. Master of the demon ways. Protector of the five shards of the Krog Korgon. We bought three seasons of this show. I have to avenge my father, and that's what I'm going to do because I have to do it. But the main guy is not very good. Lion Punch, this is a suicide mission. I won't follow you just to watch you destroy yourself. I have to avenge my father no matter what. I have to do it, and I will do it with or without you. Actually, you know what? I better come along after all. But at least he's one hell of a fighter. Punch! Punch! Boom! Uh, flip around! Uh, no, wait. He's, he's pretty bad at that, too, actually. That's Lion Punch on Binge Pipe. Ah! Please, just... Just give it a chance. Lion punch! Oh, ow, my hand! Hi, I'm Mike Builder, CEO of Jackbox Games. Ugh. Sorry, I mean VP of Binge Pipe Gaming. Everyone at what used to be Jackbox is thrilled to bring You Don't Know Jack to Binge Pipe. We've been working hard to make the best game possible, sometimes going weeks without sleep. And if the praise I've been getting from the invisible elves who live in my teeth is any indication, we've been very successful. But why stop there? Each time I take a sip of dark purple water from the binge pipe water cooler, I get a new million dollar game idea. Like Day Drinker, Pickle Police, Cyst Blaster 64, Toilet Race, Too Many Wedding Guests, Space Deniers, Dank Meme Summer Camp, Guess My Stepdad, Everybody Help Grandma, Gamblity Blamblity Duplity Dee Doo, and Wordspud 3. So if you love consumerism, keep your Binge Pipe subscription up to date, and who knows what you'll see next. I'm Mike Builder, and I'm saying this of Mike Builder's own free will.
911. What's your emergency? I think my husband's dead. He's been shot. Okay, where are you? Fort, so 1442 Willow Street. It's going to be a few minutes before an ambulance team gets there. I'm going to give you instructions in the meantime, okay? Okay. All right. The first thing I need you to do is record the murder scene. Get a few different angles and maybe add a slow pan to a wall of family portraits. Oh yeah, that'd be really nice. What? Ma'am, please stay calm. We need you to film a few things for the potential true crime doc about your husband. True crime doc? What are you talking about? Ma'am, I need you to calm down and listen. It's crucial that we get some B-roll right now or, you know, production is gonna drag on for this project. I am not filming that! Well, then can you at least get some footage of a neighbor acting weird or saying something cryptic or um, could you get some footage of maybe a crow flying from a telephone wire landing on a fence? Hey kids, do you know what it means to be a friend? Yeah! Do you know what it means to be in the friend zone? I mean, seriously, look at these texts. I, I don't get it. This week on Captain Fun Time's World of Hard Adult Lessons. Then we'll talk about the spooky world of ghosting a relationship. This is Nate Shapiro, the host of Truth Talk 23-7, the last voice of reason in a world that no longer exists. Truth Talk 23-7. Truth Truth Talk. Talk. I've been doing some digging into Binge Pipe and what it's really about, and yeah, 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 I know this show is on Binge Pipe, but maybe that's just part of their plan. Truth Talk 23-7. Truth Talk. I did an extensive internet search about Binge Pipe and came up with nothing. Nothing. How can a major media streaming service have almost no web presence? It would have to be either completely inept and destined for failure or a super genius conspiracy capable of erasing all evidence of its own existence. Think about that. Think about that for a minute. We're going to take a quick break to sell some Truth Talk tank tops. But after the break, someone brought to my attention an ancient Sumerian scroll with multiple mentions of what I have been told clearly translates to Binge Pipe, the consumer of worlds. It's all there in clear Sumerian. Truth Talk 23-7. Truth Talk. Talk. First, we made a show about cows. Then, we made a show for cows. Now, a show about cows? For cows? No way. You don't deserve it. Hey guys, what's up? So if you saw my last vid, then you know I took a photo of myself every day for a year. Thanks for all the positive feedback. It was a really fun project, and I learned something about myself while doing it. It turns out, I'm a narcissist. It's worse than we thought, sir. Those giant snakes are heading towards Earth. Um, we here at Making Murders just want to, I guess, apologize? You know, for making so many murders. Sorry about that. Our bad. Fork. Highway. Telephone. Democracy. Binge pipe. We're just another thing. Don't worry about it. Ugh. Home from another day as a busy CEO, and the last thing I have time for is making dinner. We hear you, Karen. Why not try the box? The box? Each week, a box of Harvest Fresh ingredients arrives at your door, along with fun, easy recipes. Take back that grueling time in the kitchen and spend it with your loved ones at the table. That's great. 
If only I didn't have to spend hours online shopping for my next power suit. But that's in the box, too. What? Yep. Send in your measurements, and you'll receive perfectly tailored outfits that'll wow them in the boardroom. You see, the box is all about giving you the things you need so you can get back to the things that matter. All right. What's the catch? No catch. Sign up today and get ready for your first shipment of everything your life is missing. Food, clothing, a book, a gift, a lesson, a challenge. A challenge? Sure. A situation that'll help you find strength you didn't know you possessed by pushing you to the breaking point. I... I don't think I want that. Oh, you weren't listening, Karen. The box doesn't give you what you want. It gives you what you need. I mean, is the box dangerous? Here's a better question. Is anything of value in this world completely not dangerous? The point is, what comes in the box will be tailored to your modern needs and weaknesses. And it sounds like the box just arrived. But I don't, I don't want it right now. I'm not ready. Oh, I think the box will decide when you're ready. Why put off the inevitable, Karen? It's just a box. Go on and open it. Open it. I think I can get out through the bathroom window, but my keys in my purse. My keys aren't in my purse! Yes, Karen, run away. That's what you do. But someday the gas and money will be gone, and the box will be waiting. For now, I leave you with one last warning. Some recipes may contain nuts. The box not available in Rhode Island. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting Cal. Oh no, you don't, you son of a bitch. Not this time. Honey, who was that? Where are the kids? Why did you yell? Who's at the door? Are the kids home? Yes, they're upstairs. Baby, you're scaring me. We can't stay here. What's happening? It's nothing. It's just something from my past. I can handle it. Now please go upstairs and pack an overnight bag. I want you and the kids staying at your mother's tonight. If it's nothing, then why are we having to run away? There's nothing to worry about. I said I've got this. Mommy, Daddy, what's wrong? Hey, sport. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy were just having a conversation. How does a sleepover at Grandma sound tonight? We'll order a pizza. Awesome. Honey, someone's at the back door. God damn it. I told you not to mess with my family. Mommy, why is Daddy breaking a chair? I'm not sure. Why are you breaking a chair, Roger? Because I've got to board this door up, Maggie. Look, everything's gonna be fine. I just need you to grab my shotgun from the closet. Roger, you're scaring me. I swear, I'll explain everything later. Here's your gun. Oh no, Alice is up. Hey buddy, why don't you go look after your sister? Okay. Who is at the door, Roger? It's somebody who wants something from me. Who is at the door? I swear to God, can you just trust me for once? Who is at the door? It's an interrupting cow. There, you happy? It's an interrupting cow who moves. Welcome to Old Man's Memes with me. So this is the show where I talk about memes, which I don't really know what they are, but they tell me that it's something that kids like to swap with each other and they have a good time with them. So this time they're going to have me watch something. Just here, do I hit this? Oh, it's a rabbit of some sort or has no ears so i don't know if it's a rabbit i think it might be one of those uh what are they called with the it's got a small tail and they live in the swamps uh actuary i think it's called anyway it's sitting on a table of some sort and it's looking away but then it looks right at me it's looking at me and it's got an, a stink eye kind of like what are you doing old man and there's some dramatic music playing with it, too. <laughs> it's great. So the kids, apparently they like it. They looked at it 47 M times, which is a lot if you think about it. What I think it means is that there's going to be three more weeks of summer. And that's the dramatic bunny. What? What? No, do I go, do I keep talking or what do I do? Old man's memes.
Schmitty here with another refreshing trip down memory lane with You Don't Know Jack Oldies Radio. Check out these classic Jack commercials to take a break from today's fast-paced world of lab-grown meat and hoverboards that don't really hover. Listen to these commercials from a simpler time. How many times has this happened to you? Daddy, what's the difference between absolute and relative surplus value according to Marx? Uh, go play with this ball, honey. Middle class buffoon. Well, it won't happen again. Look what I have for you, sugar. The illustrated dust copy tall. Thanks, Daddy. You're welcome, sweetie. The brightly colored pictures help me understand the general law of capitalist accumulation. Uh -huh. And the pop-up stick figures tell me all about heterogeneous and serial manufacture. Yep. There's even a scratch and sniff chapter about machinery and modern industry. That's right, honey. Daddy, you're the greatest. Now, can you tell me how the expression of female sexuality can challenge the patriarchal order? <laughs> I love you, pumpkin. The Illustrated Das Kapital. Also available, the Gross Anatomy Book of Coyote Dolls and the Kama Sutra playset. Hi, I'm Frank Johnson. And I'm Debbie Johnson. And we want you to come to the Johnson, Johnson Family, Family Garage, Garage Sale. Sale. At the Johnson Family Garage Sale, we've got something for everybody. Like this complete set of Elvis commemorative plates that my wife bought, even though we have absolutely no place to put them. <laughs> yes, and make sure to check out this absolutely never once used jet ski that my husband just had to have, even though he's completely terrified of the water. Oh, but that's not all. We also have these African tribal masks for some reason. Not that we're African or we have ever been to Africa. How could we have been to Africa, sweetie? You'll never leave the basement. Well, it's not like there's anything going on in the bedroom, Debbie. <gasps> My mother was right about you. I should have married Steve. Yeah? Well, why didn't you? Maybe I still will. Oh, be my guest. Fine. Fine. <laughs> so come on down to the Johnson Family Garage Sale. Turn this hey, thing off. I Playing solitaire on the computer is fun, right? But it's hard to remember all those rules. Now there's a computer card game that gets back to the basics. 52 card pickup 2000. That's right. 52 card pickup 2000 does all the work by throwing the virtual deck all over the virtual room. Whoa! There are cards all over the place. You know what to do next. Here's the four of clubs under this couch. I'm going to pick it up. Wow, there's three or four under this table. I'm going to pick them up. You can play by yourself or set up exciting tournament play. With your web browser, you can even play other people across the internet. It's simple. It's repetitive. It's 52 card pickup 2000. You'll wonder why you ever owned a real deck of cards. Thanks for joining me for another cruise down memory lane on You Don't Know Jack Oldies Radio. This is Schmitty saying, see you last time. <laughs> uh. You Don't Know Jack Oldies Radio. When I joined the religion, I was really hoping it was a cult, but later I figured out it was all on the up and up and not a cult at all. So I left. Okay, so it's a bet. If you can get the coolest girl in school to go to prom with you, I'll take a gender studies class that will teach me that women aren't commodities and challenges based on archaic standards of masculinity. You're on, man! Yeah! yeah. Why can't I cry? This is a very interesting wine because if you look at the label, you can see the cause and date of your death. If you love NCIS Los Angeles, you'll love the three-episode French series the show is based on. La neige est sur le sol. La vie est triste. Oh, que de souvenir. Oh, que de souvenir. Only on Binge Pipe. <laughs> Binge Pipe? Funny you should say that. Why? Because of words. <laughs> <laughs> binge Pipe. We don't understand either. Hey, I'm Austin Creed. You might know me from my career as a sports entertainer or from my highly successful YouTube channel, Up, Up, Down, Down. But from now on, you're only going to know me from Binge Pipe. That's right. I just signed an exclusive multi-decade deal with Binge Pipe. Uh, apparently. I don't really remember signing it, but they have all the paperwork, so I guess I did. 
I'll be hosting hours and hours of binge pipe programming right from this tiny locked room in binge pipe headquarters. And I'll be wrestling for the Binge Pipe Wrestling League, which they assure me is a real thing. I'm already so busy producing great binge pipe content, I couldn't go home if I wanted to. <laughs> uh, so look for me, Austin Creed, right here on Binge Pipe. And please tell my family that I love them. Hello, I'm Austin Creed. Don't miss my new show, Hat Chat, right here on Binge Pipe. I travel all around the world meeting people with incredible stories and talking about hats. Here's a clip. When we adopted a tiger, we knew life would never be the same. A lot of folks, my family, her family, tried to talk us out of it, you know, but we took one look at him and said, you know, he's, he's coming home with us. <laughs> right. And would you mind telling me a bit about the hat? What hat? Over there next to the tiger. Oh, that's just an old straw hat. I think it was my grandfather's. Hmm. Looks like a boater hat. I, I guess. Remarkable. <gasps> that's next week on Hat Chat, only on Binge Pipe. Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. Hey everyone, I'm Beatrice Risbet and I'm question number eight's agent. My client is happy to be a part of this newest version of You Don't Know Jack. When I first signed on to represent number eight, I could tell they weren't getting the attention they warranted. They don't have a history of phoning it in like question six. I won't lie, negotiations got tough. For a minute they were thinking about recasting, and then the game would have gone question seven, then Don Cheadle, then question nine. But luckily, we reached a deal, and 8 will continue to be part of the series, while also continuing its work in the Fibonacci series. Thank you for joining us for this Binge Pipe bonus content. It's your old pal Schmitty on Binge Pipes You Don't Know Jack Oldies Radio. Our request lines are open, so if you've got a classic You Don't Know Jack commercial you'd like to hear, just send us a request in the mail and we should get it. Eventually. Things take a while to get to the right place around here. Anyway, here's a classic talk block of your favorite old You Don't Know Jack commercials. There's been a lot of talk lately about some of the troubles America's been facing over the last decade. But we at the America 12th Party still think that America is the 12th greatest country in the world and always will be. And if you think it's somehow less, like 17th or 21st, well, you're dead wrong. Dead wrong. And you can just get out and move to Sierra Leone or Zimbabwe. Then you'll see, you'll see that we're the luckiest, best people in the world, except for, you know, Norwegians and Australians. But besides them, and Canadians and New Zealanders, we're the most blessed people besides the Swedish and a couple other countries. But we're doing a lot better than Vietnam, for now. We're number 12! We're number 12! Fear, half-truths, bait-and-switch tactics. Why are newscast promos so sensational? And could they kill you tonight? Honey, I got here as soon as I could. What's wrong? Here! It's a ransom note. Oh my god, this is awful. I know, our baby! Oh, she'll be fine. I'm referring to the ransom note. Oof. It's every kidnapper's worst dream. Not being able to clearly convey your evil plans to the parents of the child you kidnapped. Here at the Ransom Writers Workshop, we work with degenerates to improve their ransom writing skills. Our curriculum is proven to work, and our classrooms are filled with certified instructors. Okay, students, now cut out the letters from this magazine so that it spells by 5 p.m. I did it, Miss Perkins. I did it. Very good. The Ransom Writers Workshop. Our classes won't cost you a ransom, but if you don't attend, they might cost you a ransom. This is Schmitty, and you've been listening to You Don't Know Jack Oldies Radio. 
You don't know Jack. Oldies Radio. Got a date right after work and you find yourself a little worried about what's going on down there? Well, maybe you shouldn't have let that family of possums move in. Johnson, step into my office, now. You smell that? Step out and then back in. Right? Or is it just me? Go, Mayor. Go, Mayor. Go, Mayor. It's like pizza, but for women. This is Nate Shapiro, and today on Truth Talk 23-7, we're taking calls and getting to the bottom of the truth, which is where the most important truth hides, the bottom part. Truth Talk 23-7. Truth Talk. First caller, you're live on the air. Are you a sheep or are you a weasel? What? I, those both sound bad. Total sheep. Next caller, are you a sheep or are you a pair of cargo shorts? Oh, I, I was going to say weasel, but is that not an option anymore? Uh-oh, we got a fragile pair of cargo shorts on the line. Next caller. Truth Talk. Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm Cookie Masterson's stand-in. Cookie has a lot of commitments besides You Don't Know Jack, like personal appearances and promoting his line of Japanese hair products. I read all the questions first so the engineers can test the game. Then Cookie re-records them later. Take a listen. If Janelle Monae used the same technique as Claude Monae, if Selena Gomez married Gomez Adams, if Chris Pine could only eat pine cones, it's hard work and nobody gets to hear it, which is why it's... Hey. Matt, what are you doing in here? I was just doing an interview for the game. Yeah, well, I'm here now so you can get out. Yes, Mr. Masterson. (sighs) Okay, where do we leave off? Ah, which is why it's so great to finally record something that won't get cut from the game. There, done. We good? Thank you for joining us for this Binge Pipe bonus content. become a professional live streamer? It's never been easier thanks to the Binge Pipe Streamer Program. Just listen to these satisfied streamers. I couldn't believe how easy it was to stream with Binge Pipe. It was like super easy to get started. There was almost no setup. There was literally no setup. No complicated sign up process. You just click a button and stream. Sometimes I was streaming without even clicking the button. I'm not totally sure what that button does actually. I started out just streaming games, but now I can't stop streaming. Seriously? I can't stop streaming. How do I turn this off? I think I'm streaming right now. The eye of Binge Pipe is unblinking. I unplugged my webcam, but the light's still on. I put it in a drawer, but it's still weird. It's very weird. Super weird. It's uncomfortable and weird. Binge Pipe Streamer Program. If you're listening to this, it's already too late. What is Bitcoin? A modern system for an ever-changing world. An unprecedented level of sophistication. A road you follow just to see where it goes. It's an indulgent gift you give yourself and then return. It's a letter from an old friend. A knock on the door late at night. Who could survive all this rain? 
It's a song you hum to yourself while the bank teller fills the bag. It's a deer, sleek and innocent and made of lightning. That letter from the old friend. This isn't their handwriting. It's hieroglyphics. The letter bursts into flame and you faint. You wake up in a rainy alley in London and hear a voice whisper, the songbird is deadlier than the jackal in the right climate. You look behind you, but there's only an old woman embroidering. You run and run and barely make it on the last train out of the city. You arrive at a ship and sneak aboard. You sleep on coils of rope. The captain discovers you and says, we're taking you to meet someone you wronged many years ago. But when the ship docks, you're left standing in front of your own door. This is Bitcoin. Also, the lightning deer is wearing sunglasses. Hi, I'm Austin Creed, and I've got a brand new show on Binge Pipe called Hat Chat. Each episode, I travel to a different exotic spot in this great big world of ours, meeting amazing people, and we just talk hats. Take a listen. So this is uh, St. Remix Cathedral. It's more than 400 years old, making it the oldest still standing cathedral in the area. <laughs> wow, and what kind of hat is that? Oh, this? Oh, this is just my Milwaukee Brewers hat. I'm a big fan. So, a baseball hat, then? Yep. Amazing. That's Hat Chat, only on Binge Pipe. Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. Hi, I'm Rose. I'm an audio segment producer on the game. One thing that a lot of people don't know is that Cookie records all of the ors in his questions separately. So, like, for a question like this... Is it bonk, 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 wobble, 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 auga, or ooh, mommy? Cookie prefers to record all of the ors for the whole game in one six hour recording session. Here, take a listen. All right, now recording ORS 425 through 500. <clears throat> or, 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 no, or, yeah, or. I don't know why he insists on doing it that way. It's a lot of extra work. Thank you for joining us for this Binge Pipe bonus content. had a great time on our day tonight. You want to come inside and watch something? I know what that means. I've got Binge Pipe. The only streaming service better than casual sex? The very same. Sure, we're just an island of talking horses. But can't we treat our island with respect? What? Were you all raised in a barn? <laughs> you were? All of you? Greetings, lovers of wildlife. It's me, Rory Cheshire Fenderbridge, professional narrator. When I released my acclaimed, visually stunning 10 DVD series, Animals of Earth, the response was unanimous. Too much death. Who can forget such moments as lions ripping a baby zebra to pieces, or killer whales chasing a seal for 10 hours only to have the seal drag itself up on an ice floe to be gutted by a bear. Overall, the series was hailed, equal parts masterpiece of cinematography and downer. And that's why I'm proud to release my new 10 DVD series, Animals of Earth Happy Endings. With clever editing and visual effects, this time every animal walks away a winner. Let's take a look. Here we have a cheetah sneaking up on a tiny rabbit, cooling itself by the local watering hole. The cheetah prepares to pounce, and then we cut away to this delightful waterfall with the caption, the cheetah proceeded to walk the rabbit home. Here's one more. 
This baby puffin has wandered away from its mother and towards a pit full of boa constrictors. I should add, the puffin is quite lost. As you can see, the boas have recognized the fluffy intruder. The puffin cries out for its mother, and a shower of colorful red balloons fills the entire screen, obscuring what we can only assume is an impromptu party. Whoops, there's a chunk of bloody beak. Back to the editing bay with that one. If you'd love a highly edited version of nature where nothing bad ever happens, try Animals of Earth Happy Endings today. Coming soon, natural disasters in reverse, or the hungry, hungry volcano that gobbled up all the lava. Cheers. Damn it, this tea's gone cold. I tell you what, though, man, life is different now. Life is different. Especially kids, all you hear now is, can I have screen time? Can I have screen time? My nephew kept asking me that question, and I said, sure. And then I plopped him in front of my screen door. I said, that was my screen time as a kid. I have an irrational fear of change. Hey kids, do you know what it means to be a friend? Do you know what it means to be in the friend zone? I mean, seriously, look at these texts. I, I don't get it. This week on Captain Fun Time's World of Hard Adult Lessons. Then we'll talk about the spooky world of ghosting a relationship. This is Nate Shapiro, the host of Binge Pipe's new live talk radio channel, Truth Talk 23-7. Truth Talk. Bringing you the real dirt on what's really happening 23 hours a day, seven days a week. Except for holidays and the third Wednesday of every month, which we also take off to get the studio cleaned. Truth Talk 23-7. Truth Talk. Your only source for the stories everyone else is too afraid or too corrupt or has too much journalistic integrity to tell you. Truth Talk. After 50 days at sea. I need food. I need water. But most of all, I need... Can you literally stop talking about your needs for one second and ask me about my day? Okay, how was your day? I'm starving. I need food. I need water. But most of all... Okay, can you literally stop talking about your needs for one second? Oh my second god, come on. I'm I need starving. Food. I need water. Food. I need Shipwrecked. Water. I need okay, you literally... So everyone has disappeared? More like half the population? Of Earth? That we know of, yes. But... Everything is different now because we're we're in space. Unclear. Uh, is this a flashback? Also unclear. Uh, but we definitely have to defuse this bomb, right? That part seems obvious. I mean, I'm just making sure we're on the same page here. This fall on the exposition. And wait, are we related? Unclear. Damn it. Pipe offers a new service where we explain to your mom what happened in the part of the show she was watching after she fell asleep. So who is he? Her son. Oh, wait, what now? What do you remember? I remember a party for the one guy. That's her son. Is he the handsome one? Yes. With the beard? No, wait, no. I'm confused. Binge Pipe, we're patient. Streaming now on an all-new Lion Punch. I am the Lion Punch. A troubling revelation. Master of the demon ways. Protector of the five shards of the crow 
Corgon. We bought three seasons of this show. I have to avenge my father, and that's what I'm going to do because I have to do it. But the main guy is not very good. Lion Punch, this is a suicide mission. I won't follow you just to watch you destroy yourself. I have to avenge my father no matter what. I have to do it, and I will do it with or without you. Actually, you know what? I better come along after all. But at least he's one hell of a fighter. Punch! Punch! Boom! Uh, flip around! Oh, uh, no, wait. He's, he's pretty bad at that, too, actually. That's Lion Punch on Binge Pipe. Please, just... Just give it a chance. Lion punch! Oh, ow, my hand! ba -doo -doo, just cleaning out my fingernails. ba -doo. Introducing America's Secret Singers. Sandwich, I got a pastrami sandwich. Da -ba -da -ba. A singing competition show composed entirely of videos of people who didn't know their webcams were on. Where's the stamps? But um bum bum my bills are overdue. The singer with the most online votes will receive ten thousand dollars and they'll never know why. My arms are so hairy. My arms are so hairy. My arms are so hairy, but my legs are smooth. <laughs> Coming soon, The Minister, a period drama about the turn-of-the-century British Prime Minister David Lloyd George. That's it. I must create the Parliament Act to circumvent the House of Lords' objection to my social insurance budget plans. Don't worry, like all period dramas, we've added a lot of sex. When you say circumvent, do you mean go in from behind? Why, Margaret Drea Robbins, if you were the president of the Women's Trade Union League, I'd say you were flirting with me. You know what they say. What happens at the Paris Peace Conference will create complicated precedent which will inadvertently lead to World War II. Oh God, use me like protective legislation. Deep in the American South, there was a town with a secret. Excuse me, can we ask you about the body found in Walter Creek? No, I, I don't know what you're talking about. A secret nobody wanted to talk about. There is no body in the creek. There's never been a body in the creek. That's when a film crew discovered Lies! It's all lies! We were in the wrong town. We don't even have a creek! Coming this winter to Binge Pipe, true crime documentary bloopers. When we went down into the basement, we found the shrine that he had made out of human bones. I, I mean bones. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I'm a gamer. I'm that guy at work who won't stop quoting Caddyshack. I'm Mark Twain, and this is Jurassic Park. We are Binge Pipe! 911, what's your emergency? I think my husband's dead. He's been shot. Okay, where are you? Four, four, 1442 Willow Street. It's going to be a few minutes before an ambulance team gets there. I'm going to give you instructions in the meantime, okay? Okay. All right, the first thing I need you to do is record the murder scene. Get a few different angles and maybe add a slow pan to a wall of family portraits. Oh yeah, that'd be really nice. What? Ma'am, please stay calm. We need you to film a few things for the potential true crime doc about your husband. True crime doc? What are you talking about? Ma'am, I need you to calm down and listen. It's crucial that we get some B-roll right now or, you know, production is gonna drag on for this project. I am not filming that. Well, then can you at least get some footage of a neighbor acting weird or saying something cryptic or um, could you get some footage of maybe a crow flying from a telephone wire landing on a fence? Welcome back to Right or Wag, the only game show where the contestants are dogs. For $500, who is a good boy? Bixby. <coughs> Correct. 
Okay, once again, that bell is making our contestants think someone's at the door, so we'll take a short break. All right, down, down. I've just fallen down the stairs, but I feel great. I've never told anyone that before, not even my mom, because I feel so close to you, Jennifer. My name is Kendall. Whoops-a-doodle. Hey, I'm Nolan. Follow me as I travel the world with only a backpack, a plan, and a credit card that never runs out of money. The Trust Fund Traveler. New episodes premiere during your work shift. Everybody down! Get down on the floor now! This is my first time teaching a yoga class! I said get down! You're on Binge Pipe, and this is Truth Talk 23-7. Truth Talk. I'm Nate Shapiro, your host, an honest warrior, a Greg Club gold member, and a Neo Capricorn. Just like my cereal, I like to buy my justice in bulk. So it's time to examine expired coupons. I am owed 25 cents off granola bars. You know what? We can't just go by the dates dictated by Big Calendar. So join me next week. But don't trust the numbers on the wall. Just tune in after you see the moon seven times. Truth Talk 23-7. Truth Talk. from another day as a busy CEO, and the last thing I have time for is making dinner. We hear you, Karen. Why not try the box? The box? Each week, a box of Harvest Fresh ingredients arrives at your door, along with fun, easy recipes. Take back that grueling time in the kitchen and spend it with your loved ones at the table. That's great. If only I didn't have to spend hours online shopping for my next power suit. But that's in the box, too. What? Yep. Send in your measurements, and you'll receive perfectly tailored outfits that'll wow them in the boardroom. You see, the box is all about giving you the things you need so you can get back to the things that matter. All right. What's the catch? No catch. Sign up today and get ready for your first shipment of everything your life is missing. Food, clothing, a book, a gift, a lesson, a challenge. A challenge? Sure. A situation that'll help you find strength you didn't know you possessed by pushing you to the breaking point. I... I don't think I want that. Oh, you weren't listening, Karen. The box doesn't give you what you want. It gives you what you need. I mean, is the box dangerous? Here's a better question. Is anything of value in this world completely not dangerous? The point is, what comes in the box will be tailored to your modern needs and weaknesses. And it sounds like the box just arrived. But I don't don't want it right now. I'm not ready. Oh, I think the box will decide when you're ready. Why put off the inevitable, Karen? It's just a box. Go on and open it. Open it. I think I can get out through the bathroom window. But my keys in my purse. My keys aren't in my purse! Yes, Karen, run away. That's what you do. But someday the gas and money will be gone, and the box will be waiting. For now, I leave you with one last warning. Some recipes may contain nuts. The box not available in Rhode Island. Truffles and tea cakes. Tea cakes and truffles, I love them exactly the same. If you asked me to pick, I'd say that's a trick because I love them exactly the same. Oh! Jack! 
listening to You Don't Know Jack Oldies Radio. I'm Schmitty, and I'll be your guide as we cruise down memory lane to play some of the classic Jack commercials from yesteryear. Hey, do you remember the 90s? You don't? Well, that's going to be a problem. Listen to these classic commercials anyway. Little baby sleepy time, sharing bedtime slots of fun. Little Baby Sleepy Time doll was last year's hot Christmas toy, but due to a manufacturing error, thousands were made with slightly damaged sound chips. So that hot toy just got a lot cheaper as part of the Little Baby Sleepy Time clearance sale. Little Baby Sleepy Time whisper secrets in the dark. Let's have dreams about unicorns. Sure, that's not the voice from the original doll, but we're marking this toy down 75%. Kiss my tummy and help me sleep. Little Baby Sleepy Time off to dreamland with my friend. When we wake up in the morning, let's talk about boys. Okay, 90% off. 90%. Smell my breath. It tastes like cotton candy. Ubernostrum. It's delicious. Ubernostrum tastes just like candy. I mean, it's tasty. I enjoy the freedom of Ubernostrum. It takes the pain away. Ubernostrum. Ubernostrum makes me feel fresh. Ubernostrum improved my golf game. I made $20,000. I never knew love, and, and then I tried Ubernostrum. Ubernostrum. I haven't cried in weeks, I think. You should take Ubernostrum, just in case. There's no downside. It looks great. <laughs> I look great. I feel great now. I feel good. Good. Goodness. Savory goodness. Ubernostrum. This is going to sound strange, but I feel like a more like a woman. I feel more like a woman. Ubernostrum changes lives. Thank you, Ubernostrum. Thank God for Ubernostrum. Du musst ein mehr gut gefühlen mit Ubernostrum. Hey, Ray. Yeah. Thanks for picking up my dry cleaning. I appreciate it. No problem. Uh, one question, though. Yeah. Where are the buttons? What buttons? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> 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 Can't breathe. Okay, um. There we go. <laughs> That's it for this session of You Don't Know Jack Oldies Radio. I'm Schmitty, and I'll always be with you in your memories. My God, that's a terrifying thought. You don't know Jack Oldies Radio. Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. Hey, I'm Alice. I'm a writer here at Jackbox Games. Real quick, just wanted to file a complaint because I did write a question called Sigourney Weaver Plays a Big Horny Weaver, and it did not get in, which is just kind of, I mean, think about it. I rhymed Sigourney Weaver with Big Horny Weaver. And before you say anything about rhyming Weaver with Weaver, the question was about weaving, okay? Or else I would have said something else, like achiever, okay? Sigourney Weaver stars in Big Horny Achiever. That is funnier. That's funnier. I regret that. Thank you for joining us for this Binge Pipe bonus content. <laughs> With my old streaming service, I can never get a hold of a customer service representative. Now that I'm a Binge Pipe customer, they never leave me alone. The second I have a problem, they're there to explain why it isn't a problem and why I should be more grateful for their ever seeing eye. The second my Binge Pipe router went out, a service team was in my home. I didn't even know I had a back door. I thought the volume was off on my programming, but the Binge Pipe doctor discovered it was my ears that were wrong. Not only do they closely monitor my enjoyment of their services, but they reward me if I turn in fellow customers who are not completely happy. Thank you, Binge Pipe. 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 Binge Pipe. Binge Pipe. Binge Pipe. Thank you. Ma'am, excuse me. I'm with the show What's in Your Purse, and I was wondering, what's in your purse? You want to go through my purse? 
Okay, what is this, a prank show? No, just like a man on the street thing. Are you sure you don't mind? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I'm just a little embarrassed to say I don't know what all is in here. I haven't cleaned things out in a while, so we got a brush and some mints and napkins from a drive through and oh my God. Oh, it's, um, I don't know how. Wow, wow. Is that a dead bird? Yeah, yeah, it is. It, you wouldn't have known this, but I used to be a magician's assistant like like 15 years ago, and the last trick I assisted on was a bird trick. And that's the bird? One never reappeared. And the incredible Benjamin said, just wait. Wow, just wow. Do you want us to get rid of that bird? No, I'm good, thanks. Coming soon, a new blockbuster film by Binge Putt. We've got four hours before the time portal closes. Then there's just enough time to solve the riddle. A completely original film. We made this. The dinosaurs are loose. And they can fly. It certainly wasn't made for cinematic release. Tested poorly. And now they're looking for somewhere to dump it. The lava, it's, it's intelligent. Maybe I can help. King George III. This is something we wanted to do. Then let me say it, in rap. Drop the beat, King George. Coming soon, obligation. So we did some digging and Kara, the guy you've been talking to online isn't who he says he is. Oh no, did I get catfished? Well, in this case, it was more than one person doing it, so we call it getting groupered. It was a whole group? And they did it on porpoise. That one's not a fish. Looks like someone went to school. I'm done here. Imagine a world. My God, the specimen. It's growing out of control. Where scientists go too far. Should we go in? No, seal the door. But still know how to follow proper protocol. Okay, the chemical shower killed it. <sighs> that could have been bad. Yeah, but it wasn't. Lunch? Nate Shapiro here, and up next on Truth Talk 237, what are my neighbors up to? It sure seems like they're up to something. Well, I've got their mail and their garbage, and we're going to get to the bottom of this. Truth Talk 237. Truth Talk. are a lot different these days. Just this morning, I was on the bus and I heard a young person talking about how they were having trouble building a deck. So naturally, I chimed in with some carpenter advice, but it turns out they were talking about making a deck PowerPoint presentation. I mean, does the world lost his gosh darn mind? I romanticize the past, even though I shouldn't. Truffles and tea cakes, teacles and truff truffs, they are equivalent treats. If you asked me to choose, I'd say, oh, that's a muse, because they are precisely equal to me. Sorry, what was the question? Mitty here with another refreshing trip down memory lane with You Don't Know Jack Oldies Radio. Check out these classic Jack commercials to take a break from today's fast-paced world of lab-grown meat and hoverboards that don't really hover. Listen to these commercials from a simpler time. 
In the next episode of the Radio Drama Archive, we pull out the 1921 gem, The Midnight Run, starring Ernest Wilmore and Gladys Kemp, with sound effects from Foley artist Al Peppers. Here's a fun fact. Due to several financial constraints, Al had no props for this production. Here's a snippet. Help! Help! Bang, 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 kablooey! Mind if I barge in? Say, sweetheart, you look tied up. If you're not too busy, let me help you with that. Oh, Mickey, you've come for me! Sound of chains rustling. The sound of chains. Hands off the girl, Mickey. Ah! He's got a gun! Bam, 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 kerplunk! Sound of table falling over. Window breaking. Smash! Bam, 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 bam! That's next week on the Radio Drama Archive. Who has time to cook? We don't. We're Sam. And Ella. And we want to invite you down to... Sam Sam and and Ella's. So you can get you and your family a good home raw meal. Sam and Ella's eats to sell you runny eggs and chickens. Good and raw mayo from the straw. We'll do the finger lickings. We got frog legs and yeast and dry gelatin. You'll you puke till you puke in our dirty kitchen. Acute symptoms may last for one to two days. Or maybe prolong again depending on host factors and strain. Characteristics, Sam and Ella's fill your bellies with spore-forming bacterium. Animal feces, all your favorite species, slides down your throats like chum. Yum! Order up at Abby.